Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review in partnership with Name Brand Wigs. This is Beltress T Rose in the color English Toffee. T Rose, oh my goodness. Look at those bangs, the wave. It's a really cute style. If you wanna know more, stick around. I'm so grateful to Name Brand Wigs for giving me the opportunity to see this style and share it with all of you. If you have not visited them, please go to their website. It is namebrandwigs.com. I do have a link in the description to this, this particular piece. They're a wonderful online retailer. They have tons of education. They have a blog and they work with reviewers like me so that we can bring you lots of styles to help you make a good purchase decision. I'd be really grateful if you check them out. All right, everybody, let's take a look at this from all sides. This is such a flattering style. I am actually pretty surprised. When I saw the manufacturer photos, I'm willing to review every style. It really doesn't matter to me because I like to show everything, but I thought, well, that'll be one that's not really for me. I don't know. This is awfully darling. So let's talk about the bangs to start with. These bangs are long on me. I think if I'm recalling correctly, my measurement from my forehead, from my hairline to, you know, right about here where I'd want the bang to be is about two and a half inches. I do have all of my measurements in the description of the video. You can always go down there and find my measurements and compare them to yours to help you decide whether how a wig will fit you or how maybe it will lay on you. I would need to trim these bangs in order to make them comfortable. They definitely hang in my eyes. But easy, easy to do. The template is already built for you, but I think it's really meant to be worn as a full bang. So I'm sweeping it to the side. I'm just trying to find a way to, that it will actually stay to the side so I can talk to you guys. Um, but if you're looking at it thinking that looks a little odd, I do think it's meant to be a full bang. It's just a little long on me. I do have a video. I have a tip Tuesday on my YouTube channel and I show you how to trim up bangs on a wig and how to make them lay right. Please go check that out if you've never seen it and if you're someone who might need that type of advice for your future wig wearing or you're thinking about getting this one but you're worried that it will be too small on you, I will link that in the description. So in addition to the bang, this piece also has a center mono part. So right there in the center, I am actually struggling to get uh, to show it because it's so densely knotted on the top. As you can see, I've been trying to get it to part and all of that, and I'm struggling with that. Again, easy fix, and that's not uncommon with wigs. I do have another Tip Tuesday where I show you how to manage a part that's difficult to work with. Maybe you can't see it, so you need to pluck it. How to take heat to make sure those fibers lay right once you get the part set. I will link that in the description as well. My goal is to help you on every aspect of your wig wearing journey. Not just do reviews, but actually show you some skills so that you can work with your wigs and be so comfortable with them and open to all kinds of styles. So please check out the description box in most of my videos where I do provide additional resources. So these are heat friendly fibers and I really like Beltress fibers. They feel so realistic and hair like. So these are really nice fibers and they're nice and soft and silky and they are are not overly shiny. Heat friendly fibers in general don't have the same shine that regular synthetic can have. So if you struggle with shine on wigs, if it's something that bothers you often and you haven't tried heat friendly wigs, might be something to check into because definitely they don't have the shine that regular synthetic can have. You do have to care for heat friendly fibers just a little bit differently than regular synthetic. They do need heat regularly in order to keep them nice and soft and flowing and, and keep the frizz at bay. I have a video where I show you how to do that with a straight piece. I have not mastered taking heat to a wavy piece. When you take heat to a wig, it does 
potentially alter the curl pattern depending on how much heat you use. And so you might straighten the curl pattern if you use too much heat on it. So just be cautious with that. But definitely love Beltrass fibers. Now this piece is what I would consider a moderate density. It's not a heavy density wig, but it definitely has a, a decent amount of hair and there is no permatease. So you don't have any poof up here. It's nice and flat to the head on the top, but you definitely have some volume here on the sides and maybe you can see that. Now, the volume is not due to permatease. It's due to the layers that they put in here and the wave pattern. I really like what they did with the cut. I love these long layers that they put in here so that the waves kind of cascade down. Sometimes if the wig is too much all one length, you end up with a lot of waves and volume on the bottom and it's too straight. Because this has no permatease, I really appreciate that they put some shorter layers in here to give it just some, some more symmetrical fullness. I think they did a fabulous, fabulous job. Um, the fibers are uh, nice and soft. They are just a little tiny bit on the dry side. Not very much. Maybe a little more than uh, Belle Trust Straight Styles. And what that does is it gives this super realism. You can see a little bit of flyaways here and there. Part of that is because I've been playing with it. But part of it is the design of the style, which if you had or have wavy or curly hair, you know that that's super realistic. I just think this is realistic all around. I really do. Let's talk about the lace front. So this does have a lace front. There you go right there. And so if you didn't want to take a scissors to these bangs, maybe you're not ready, but you need to get the bangs out of your face, you can take a claw clip or something, a bobby pin, and you can clip these bangs away. And you do have a lace front to make that look a little more natural. It is a bit densely knotted, maybe partly because it's meant to be worn as a bang wig, <laughs> but definitely things you can do to work with that. And um, the part, parting space is just a little densely knotted. I always, as always, I show you how to deal with all of those things in Tip Tuesdays. Beautiful, beautiful wave pattern. I'm just loving this wave pattern. Let's look at the cap. So we have got a lace front. Now the lace front is really shallow at the sides. So you've got a good amount right here, but then it's really shallow because I really do think this is meant to be worn with bangs. And then you've got your center, center mono uh, filament, mono part, soft ear tabs with bendable stays, an extended nape, and pull uh, bra strap adjusters. Bell Tress is known for running um, big and I definitely think this is a typical bell tress size. I just want you to see those beautiful waves. So this does run just a little bit big on me. Let me throw this back on and I can talk about fit. Okay, so like I said, bell tress does, is known for running a little bit big. And what that means is this is typically known as a big head friendly size. So I get extra cap up here and I get lots of stretch. So definitely, um, if you are more of an average petite, you'll have to work with your wigs if you get a bell tress to make them fit you because they do run just a little bit big. I get really excellent coverage on the sides. I mean, they just do such a good job um, with their cap construction. I have a 22 inch circumference, that's average, and I'm very petite over the top of my head. So I usually cinch my bell truss wigs in and I often wear a wig grip with them. That really helps with the size and the fit on me. All right, let's talk about color. English toffee. This is a gorgeous medium dark brown with really flattering caramel highlights. It's not a rooted color, so you don't have any darker brunette at the root. It's very consistent all the way through with that medium dark brown. And then you've got those caramel highlights, which I absolutely love. It's not stripey. It's generally very well blended. You can see that. Very, very nice. Now, it is 
the caramel kind of lean a little toward auburn a little bit so if you are looking for a brunette with no red I wouldn't call this red but the caramel really makes this a warm color but if you're looking for some a dynamic brunette but you don't like blonde highlights you don't want a stripey piece you like it to be dynamic but you like it to lean more on a blended on the blended side that's what you get with this one So pretty beautiful color all right let's get outside so that you can see this color outside thank you once again name brand wigs I appreciate you guys so much this was a fun one to show everybody I'll see you guys in my next video all right everyone we are outside with English toffee thought I'd get in the front yard here and maybe have a lighter backdrop to help you guys see this color So beautiful it's so it's a nice sort of high, subtly highlighted brunette really flattering warm okay guys hopefully this helped you Thanks for watching.